Ryan here. If you've been watching the Advent videos, you know that we're talking about how Christmas decorations can remind us that Jesus is the reason for this season. Last week, we talked about Bethlehem and how some of our ornaments or decorations might remind us of trips that we've taken, just like Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem. I shared this ornament that has a beautiful painting on a very delicate glass bulb. Well, the ornaments I have to share this week are very different. But first, let's talk about our Advent wreath. This past Sunday, we lit our third candle on the Advent wreath. What did that candle symbolize? That's right, it was the shepherd's candle. So, what's so special about shepherds? If you had asked people at the time Jesus was born, they would have said, not much. Shepherds are plain, they live with animals all day, and they normally smell kind of bad, so they're just not very special. They're ordinary. But we know from the Bible story that God knew that they were special, and God used something that we think was ordinary to do something extraordinary. The shepherds were the first people to welcome Jesus and they sh shared the good news of Jesus's birth with the entire town. That is very special. That gets me back to the ornaments I have to show you this week. You gotta promise not to laugh at me, but these ornaments are from when I was a kid. This one is from when I was in kindergarten. Can you tell I'm wearing reindeer antlers? And it looks like I colored a picture on the back of it. I have similar ornaments that my brother and sister made. This one is from 1995, so my sister was five years old. Look at all the stickers she used. And this one is of my brother. The last ornament I have for you is also from when I was around five years old. We made these in school for our parents. And it's a Christmas ornament that was made to look like ice cream, but this ice cream cone is broken. And it's been broken for years. But it's still hanging on our Christmas tree. If anybody else who's not in my family saw these ornaments, these ornaments. Do you think they would see them as special? Probably not. These are only special to us because they represent the love in our family. It's kind of like the shepherds. God didn't, doesn't see people the way we see people. We might see something as ordinary or plain, but God's love and light makes it that everybody is special. And God's plan uses everybody to share God's love with the world. Ornaments like this that might seem plain become very special when they are attached to love and light. I bet you have some ornaments at your house that are homemade or maybe wouldn't it be special to people who don't understand how important they are. Maybe after we close in prayer, you can find some of those ornaments or maybe make a new one. And when you see those ornaments, you can remember that God's love and light makes the ordinary extraordinary. And that is worth celebrating this Christmas. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the shepherds. And thank you that your love transforms the ordinary into extraordinary. Help us to remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. Thank you for loving us, God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.